Today, I'm gonna to take you through how we sign $10,000 for our video production project and how you can copy this and do exactly the same thing for your business too. This video does come with a warning and that is if you follow these steps, you could end up making a lot more money than we did. But nonetheless, I'm gonna give you everything you need to know on how to pitch ideas to clients that are your existing clients and also brand new clients too. So when we start with any kind of treatment or project pitch, we generally will send it over in a PDF. I use Google Slides to create a lot of this stuff and then export it as a PDF before we send it over. And I'm gonna be giving you two key suggestions throughout this video. One is for pitching to existing clients. And then the second is to pitch to brand new clients who don't know who you are, but you can send over your ideas or perhaps they've asked you uh, to send over a treatment or proposal for what you would suggest for their kind of video project. So what we've got in front of us is a pitch that we did for a car company a very long time ago. So ignore some of the visuals, you can update this, but we try and make sure that these treatments are as visual as possible. We work in a creative industry, so we need to make sure that it really gets that engagement across and really starts to excite people when they scroll through this treatment. A lot of treatments can be really, really boring. And for a person who's on the other end who may not be a creative person, you can't just expect them to know exactly what the video is gonna look like and use their imagination. So we try and include as many images as possible to get through that. Generally speaking, opening page, a powerful image, and then our logo, and often we would use their logo as well, or at least in text underneath, write the date of the treatment and the, the title of it, if it has one, or some kind of information to set the, set the cover off right. You know, imagine it's a book, it's the same sort of thing. You wanna have something that wants to lead into the next pages. The first page, keeping it super simple, is gonna be about concept. So in this page, we're gonna start looking at what are you looking to do? So it's your idea that you've come up with or if you're pitching the concept back to them, it's your chance to expand on exactly what you're looking to do with this project. Next up, you're gonna include why is it important and then what is in it for them? Because when they're reading this, they're gonna be asking themselves that question all the time. What are we gonna get out of this? Particularly if it's an existing client that hasn't asked you to do any of this stuff. Now, try and keep your text to an absolute minimum. It's really easy to kind of waffle on and start to go into loads of detail on each of these points. But if you can create a treatment that gets to the point very quickly in as few words as possible, again, you're gonna have a much better chance of success. People who own businesses are very busy as a lot of uh, people who work in the businesses are too. So they're not gonna have loads of time to go through and read lots of content, especially if they haven't asked for it. So stick to this very, very simple structure. On to page number, technically page number three now, and this is the mood board. So we start to introduce some images just to very quickly start to set the scene. So you can see this beautiful image of a car driving into the sunset. You've got the female image above and then also the city uh, kind of setting as well. With this particular project, we were able to quickly showcase the feeling that they're gonna get when we create this video and the kind of look and feel that it's gonna have too. Next up, I'm rolling through this, by the way, at some rate so I can pack as much value into this video as possible. If at any point you enjoy this video, then make sure you're subscribed. So many of you guys aren't, and that's the only way we know that the content we're putting out is valuable, is by you hitting that subscribe button and letting me know in the comments below. I'm trying to reply to as many people as possible, but there are literally hundreds of comments on our videos now, so stick with it. Let me know what you think, and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Now, the outline, how does this differ to the concept? So the concept is like the, the, the broader, like this is what we're aiming to do. But the outline is regarding the video itself. So we're now setting the scene. We're going into more detail about how the video is gonna take the end user on this journey. And we're gonna keep that very specific to that particular target market. So again, the concept was the overall idea of why they should consider doing this in the first place. And the outline is much more relation to the video itself. 
And finally, and, and that will be made obvious in a minute why I'm saying finally, is because on this page, we then look through a kind of visual storyboard. Now we haven't filmed or shot any of these clips, but we're using them as an example to set the scene for the video. Again, assuming the person on the other end isn't the most creative person in the world, then we need to make sure we get that across. So we use images that we found online to set that scene so that they get a good understanding of what we're trying to achieve given they have now in their mind the concept, the reasons why we're doing it, and also the outline, which will tell the story of the video as well in as few words as possible. Now, the reason I said that this is the final thing is because if you're pitching to someone that you already know, an existing client, then you don't really need to include the other sections. All you need to do is find out, are they interested? So you might have spoken about an idea with them and they might be semi-interested, but you're not completely sure. By putting together a document like this will really help them get a good understanding of the power of what you're trying to suggest to them. And it will really do a good job at getting that across. So next up, you just need to know, are you more interested now? Yes or no? And if they say, yes, you know what? This looks really cool. I definitely want to engage in a chat. Then you would start to, in that meeting with them, start to talk about the following points. However, when I started this video, I also said on the flip side of that, if you're pitching to a company that doesn't know you or you're pitching to a company that's asked you for a proposal, then you want to include the next few slides. And this is something that I've noticed people on my course haven't done in the past, which it can be um, absolutely insane when I show you what those strategies are. Because if you're not doing these steps, then it's really with no wonder you're not gonna have the best chance of success with people winning those projects. So you want to include a page about us and you should include why they should listen to you. You should also include information about your team. If it's just you, then that's completely fine. You can just give your experience and also include your expertise as well. But this is a, a page where you get really get to sell yourself. This is like your CV. And again, you've got to do this in as few words as possible, keeping it very short and punchy. And this is something that a lot of people leave out or just don't do very well, or they put something very generic in here. You need to make this very specific to their audience, their target market, their industry as a whole. Because if you can't show that you're the right people for that industry, then you're gonna have a hard chance of winning the job in the first place. So think about those things and then tell them why should they listen to you? Why should they take on board everything you've said? Because to them, it might just be, they don't know if it's gonna work or not. So tell them why they should listen to you as a business. So following on from that is the track record. So you wanna keep this to relevant projects only. And if you don't have a diverse portfolio, that becomes quite tricky to do unless you already have a niche in that particular industry. So this is a car company. So any relevant projects I want to give examples of should be to do within the automotive sector or at least to try and pull on the points that I've brought up previously in the concept and the outline of the video. They should include supporting videos as well. So again, you might want to list a few examples here and also should include results. If you've got any testimonials from clients, include them in here so that it can really show that your track record states that this works and this is why, again, they should listen to you because you're the person for the job. Again, if you are getting value from this video, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe or at least leave a like. It costs you nothing to do so and it really tells us that we're doing a good job and therefore we'll make more of these videos too. With the pricing section, you just wanna give a brief outline. You're gonna have a lot of questions and you can definitely ask questions before you send this over to them, but sometimes it's nicer to send them the visuals and then ask some questions following that. So you might make some assumptions and you can write down your assumptions here. So I assume that you will provide the car for us. We don't have to rent that. I also assume that we will be doing this at a weekend or we will be doing this in London or we will be doing this X, Y, Z. So you're giving them an idea of cost based on your assumptions because then if they say yep this sounds great we're going to do this in Milan you'll be going oh well obviously our price changed now I, I know that that's quite an obvious thing of course your price is going to change 
but by how much? And then to then at the client, if you keep coming back, changing your price every five minutes with no warning that you've made any assumptions, it doesn't start that project off on the right foot. So we like to list out as many assumptions as possible and then an outline of the overall price, potentially split down into uh, the pre-production, production and post-production, um, as well as maybe sub costs such as uh, travel. And we would try to accumulate those into separate costs as well. You want to include the next steps, where we can go from here and a call to action. So get them to take action. What are the next steps? If you like this, we need to set a one hour long meeting with you to discuss in more detail. Once we've discussed that in more detail, we'll be able to provide a bespoke quote or service or something like that. Give them a call to action. Otherwise you'll send this over and I promise you nothing will happen. They probably won't even email back. So tell them to do those things. And that's why we often ask you to like and subscribe in our videos is because otherwise a lot of people will watch them. They'll gain value from them. They'll leave feeling really happy and feel like we've done a good job but that doesn't necessarily help the algorithm for our videos to perform better, to help more people and grow our community and grow our channel. So if we don't introduce those call to actions, often is the case that things just won't happen as a result. And that's exactly the same for your treatment process too. And finally, you then want to move on to contact. How do they get in touch? Who is the relevant person in your organization? Or if again, you're just a one man band, you want to write down your details, your name, your position within the company. So it makes it feel like they have a direct port of contact at the end of the day. And that really is in a nutshell, how to create a powerful treatment that has a high conversion rate. You can use this for existing clients, as I mentioned, just use the first section or use it for new clients or people who are asking for a proposal. Remember my key points throughout, try and make it as visual as possible and assume that it's a parent or someone that you, you know who isn't very creative, assume you're trying to pitch this idea to them because if you can do a good job at pitching it to them, then it means that a creative person is definitely gonna un understand your vision for this project. If you enjoy these walkthroughs where I take you through step-by-step step how to create a stable video production company and tips to help grow your production company to the next level, then I recommend you taking a look at the Perspective Academy. The Perspective Academy is an online course like no other that focuses on the business side of filmmaking. There's over 158 videos and 26 hours of on-demand coaching. Not only that, but you get access to a premium members group that's a very collaborative environment where you can surround yourself by like-minded entrepreneurs that want to grow their businesses. Plus, you get templates like this in our downloads package, which has around about 70 downloads included in the course price. And we also have live Q&A events every other week where you can ask me any questions so that if you get stuck along the way and perhaps have a question about how to create a better treatment for your business or your industry, then I can help with those questions. We currently have a free training available online at the moment. So make sure you go and check that out and that will tell you how to create a state business from the ground up that has a regular predictable cash flow to your business that has clients paying you every single month. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and why not check out this video too. It's packed full of valuable actionable content that you can start learning from right now. So go and check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.